I'm Michael Godzi. I'm the GM head of product for Infura. Uh, Infura is a developer suite for all things Web3. Um, our bread and butter are Ethereum and IPFS. Uh, we've been hosting um, both networks for over four years um, and have been really the, 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 um, the standard platform for people to, to really build and explore these new technologies. Um, and so uh, a couple of years ago, we upgraded our Ethereum service to really kind of build in more product functionality um, and, and make it something that applications could really scale on top of. And we just released the, um, the uh, matching IPFS upgrade for our platform. So. Uh, now, developers that have been experimenting with Infura, developers that are have started to really build IPFS into their applications and are exploring IPFS as a, a really meaningful addition to how they're doing data storage or, or uh, uh, data security um, can utilize IPFS uh, at the, at the ex uh, very, very high level of quality that we've established with our Ethereum product as well. So um, you can head to infura.io slash product slash IPFS, and you will see all of the new information on the new product uh, and how it works. Uh, it's got full connectivity into our dashboard, uh, which I'll walk through in, in a little bit. Um, it's a highly uh, available API. Um, we've built really amazing innovative systems around storage scaling, uh, broadcasting data across the network, peering management, um, it, the list goes on and on and on. The, the backend infrastructure that makes this all work is, is pretty brilliant. Um, and uh, so it has, you can have the same reliability that you have with all of other, our other products when you're using IPFS on Infura. Um, <clears throat> and uh, it works with all of the standard IPFS libraries um, you know, it really is as simple as connecting into a URL and, and hitting go, um, and it's fully pay as you go. So there's, uh, it's, uh, it's pay for what you use. Um, we, we, we really wanted to make it a, an easy way to scale, but also an easy way to continue, uh, experimenting. So we've also included, um, uh, a free amount of of uh, access to the product still. So this is, uh, you know, this is a huge staple of our platform is giving people the space to experiment. Um, and and as you can see, the you know uh, you can learn all about the pricing uh, directly on our pricing page. So let's hop in. So uh, basically, you'll go to infura.io, log into your dashboard, uh, which I am already. And then you'll see an all new item on the left bar for IPFS, uh, along with uh, a lot of the other awesome networks that we support. Um, here you can learn a little bit more about the product and, and get some information about how to get started. Uh, a lot of similar information to what's on our product page, but these links are super helpful. Um, we have some migration uh, documentation. We have our links to our full documentation, which I'll give you a quick preview of in a little bit. So let's get started. So first, we're going to start by naming our project. So um, your Infura usage and your dashboard is kind of organized by product and project. Um, and so this allows you to identify different use cases or say you had uh, a dev environment, a staging environment, a production environment. This would allow you to kind of configure all of those uh, however you like. So we'll create demo for this one. And this is going to now uh, show me um, my project settings view, which gives me really detailed settings on on quotas, so that I make sure that you know I don't go above any spending uh, amount that I want to. Um, so you can come in here and say I only want to use 10 gigabytes, and it will make sure that you don't go over that. Same with data transfer up and down. Um, and then we have some additional security features, uh, such as limiting. Um, access, which will help you control access to your API um, and make sure that if, if someone were to get access to your API key, it's not going to cause you um, damage to your account. So uh, as you can see, I have a terminal pulled up here. Um, this is we're going to I'm going to quickly walk through uh, live um, uh, pinning a data, pinning a file 
to your Infura IPFS. So this is the documentation. As you can see, we have some really great getting started information. This will walk you through exactly how to start pinning files. Um, uh, <clears throat> the default functionality for an add method is that it will pin by default. You can use a parameter inside of the add method that will allow you to toggle that on and off. But um, for the purposes of this, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to um, keep it on. So we'll just do that. And there you go. So super simple. Um, but what's cool is let's go back to our dashboard and we can now see the file that I just pinned in my data explorer when I pinned it, how big it is. And, um, and then you'll get some, you'll get some real time information about uh, your uh, pinning. Um, and uh, that is, that is the that that's how that's how it works. It's super easy. It's as simple as going straight to this URL. You're going to get all of your visibility. You can have multiple projects. Uh, you have our the support of our amazing support team. If you ever need help, uh, you just come straight to the support panel, which is directly inside of your dashboard. Um, and then, you know, select IPFS and we can help with pretty much any issue that you have. Um, you'll get information about your running total for your upcoming bill. Um, this is not going to, this is, this is all within the free allotment. So we're not having any actual billing happening. Um, and then you can even unpin directly from the dashboard in case you don't want to get charged for that storage. And that's it. It's, uh, it's, it's really, really awesome. It allows you to really scale on top of this service. Um, and, uh, and definitely check out our documentation, check out the blog posts. Um, that we put up and uh, and have fun experimenting.